I joined a tournament against 31 other YouTubers. First place wins a billion coins. Everyone else wins zero. I need to win the one billion coins so I can advertise in rigged election to get the Kudra Mandalore. Also to buy Shania the Cow a new pen. Please support animal protection by supporting me. To ensure my victory, I hired the greatest coach in the world. Hi, Dana. My feet. my feet are straight ahead. Okay, my feet are straight ahead. You don't want to do that. Damn it! So How do I play out. Minecraft, Dana? I think the first thing you need to know, you gotta stand like this. What is happening? I'm into points a lot, but they're not your average points. You can see she points out lasers. That just killed five million people. They look at me like I'm crazy. Now that I have the right mindset to win, I should explain some more. The unique thing about this tournament is we get to choose what we compete in. It's a bracket system, a series of 1v1s against other YouTubers. One loss and you're out. The two people get to choose their own jewel. It could be a Bed Wars battle, a breakdancing in real life battle, first one to steal the Pope's hat, rock, paper, scissors. As long as both of us agree, literally any competition goes. So to prepare, I need to train for every possibility. First, Minecraft PvP. Since all the participants are Minecraft YouTubers, some of them might choose Minecraft as their challenge because they're all boring and only play Minecraft. Except me. I also play Minesweeper. After losing 1500 PvP battles in a row, I know exactly how not to play, moving on to speed bridging. It's super easy with a little bit of training and a lot of the times 4 speed button. I train survival Minecraft in case they challenge me to a speed run. And the number one trick is, delete creepers from the source code and steal dreams DNA and inject it into your veins. That's Minecraft out of the way, now we can focus on the real challenges. Rock, paper, scissors. If someone chooses this, I can't say no. I can't admit I am scared of playing rock, paper, scissors. And I'm not. I swear, I'm, I'm not at all afraid to play rock paper scissors okay I used to be but then I spent weeks researching the optimal strategy most people think this is a luck based game but they are wrong there are many scientific studies on rock paper scissors I'm not gonna go through them here because they're my secret I mean you could go read them yourself but you aren't going to are you I'll pay you the billion coins if you go read a scientific paper I'm that confident you won't after that I'm not afraid so after training for rock paper scissors I tried mathematics high jump hollow knight speed running competitive knitting everything to have the edge for that 1 billion coins offered by a monkey in a block game. Now I'm ready for anything people can throw at me, but before we begin, what games will I choose? I don't have to accept the other person's suggestion, I can have my own games to suggest. I should specialize in a couple games that I know that I can win, and convince my opponent to agree. I'll keep these a secret until later on. My first opponent is 50M Midas. He's a meme YouTuber who got banned from the game that his name is based on for financial fraud. So I don't know what to expect. He agreed on a game of rock, paper, scissors. Okay, this should be easy. I have science on my side. We meet atop this grand mountain. Fight me. Oh, we have to be on our islands to play rock, paper, scissors in Skyblock. Okay, here we go again. Using my scientific research, I knew the correct answer was paper. First round goes to... I lost? What? How is that possible? Okay, it's fine. Let's use the strategy. Rock. No way. He won three times in a row. No, four times in a row. It was first to two. I I'm a failure. How could this ha- Oh, oh, I get it. I'm Australian and he's Canadian. I read the study upside down and back to front. I did the opposite. Still, I lost already and I'm knocked out. That seems wrong, especially since the video is an- Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble! There is a new challenger in the building and his name is Dragoon. Not me, I've been Dratoon talking this whole time. One month ago, this tournament was set up to have 32 players compete in a bracket system, so we needed the right amount of players. But the host of the tournament, Ari the Monkey, could only find 31 YouTubers to compete, so I had a suggestion. Can Dratoon join as the 32nd player? Ari asked the others, and after some deliberation, they agreed. I now had both Dragoon and Dratoon registered in the tournament. If you think this is cheating, you're discriminating against people with split personality disorder. Dratoon may have lost to 50 mil minus, but Dragoon still has a chance. While Dratoon was losing in rock, paper, scissors, Dragoon was clearing his throat because his opponent, Frenchie Fire 3, had challenged him to a unique competition, something you couldn't guess. This is what the tournament was all about. It was a singing battle. I can't sing well, and I was sure Frenchie Fire was a karaoke expert, but I couldn't say no. It's far too cool of a challenge for me to decline. Should I take singing lessons? Do I need to get auto tune? I don't know what to. Wait a minute. I think I remember something. If you remember back to the year 2015, seven years ago, there was this YouTube ad that went on Tours on it all amazing. amazing. And then you press skip after the five seconds. I remember thinking that was a really cool song. So did my friends back then. With nothing better to do, we started learning the lyrics to the entire song. It's the one Daniel Radcliffe did, if you know that. And in 2015, I managed to memorize the entire song because I was bored. That skill has not been useful in any moment of my life in the past seven years until now. I agreed to the singing battle as long as I was allowed to rap. So I made a Discord server and got a bot to play a man screaming for an hour straight. After intimidating my competition, Frenchify 3 
Harry, Ari the Monkey, and all the audience of other YouTubers were ready. To be fair, we used a Discord karaoke bot, which means our voices will be about half a second out of sync the entire time. I am so hyped. Dragoon versus Frenchy Fry 3 rap battle. Prepare your ears. <laughs> Let's go. The snow glows wide on the mountain tonight. It's time to see what I can do to test the limits and break through. Cold never bothered me anyway. Woo! Yay! Wow, wow. Look, Good I, Lord. after that performance, I had to admit, I can't sing well. I, I can't. sing that well, so I had to do something different and I have to try and rap it. Begin. Artificial amateurs aren't at all amazing Analytically, I assault, animate things Broken barrier eating other editors Ooh. with each and every oh, other Scientific rules, answered song, silencing I'm well, what a wise word, just weaving up words Weeded up on my words, shakes like zombies Zoom into the zenith, zero and ten thoughts Overzealous, rhymes, zealots Good lord It went silent, the other YouTubers in the audience Got to judge who was the winner, and I waited Is all the training worth it? Did Dina steer me wrong? The winner? by a score of four to one, Dragoon. I was incredibly happy with my victory. A useless skill finally had some use, but not everyone was pleased. I gotta say, this is the most unfair thing I've ever seen. No idea what he's talking about. 50 mil minus, you clearly beat Dratoon, and now you have to face Dragoon, two different people. This time, I'm deciding the game. Over the past year or so, a new game, Wordle, has sweeped the world. People try to guess five letter words and there are entire news articles talking about the answer. A news article that says today's Wordle answer. What's the point of that? Just play it yourself. Who the hell would read that? I mean, I, mean, I read it, but like ironically to make fun of it. So it's fine when I do it. I played Wordle, but it's too easy. I know every word. So I wanted more of a challenge. I played Quirtle, four Wordles at a time, Octurtle, and eventually I was speed running Duo Trigurtle. 32 Wordles simultaneously. I saw Wordle on the walls. I can speak five languages at the same time. I pronounce silent letters. The dictionary asks me what its meaning is. If I could challenge Midas to a word or game type, I would definitely win. The hard part was getting him to agree to it. If he knew I was good, he would never agree. So I pretended that I was relatively new to it. He even got strategies from his maths teacher. With one day before the deadline, we called each other. We had a couple of practice rounds to get used to it. He failed to complete the board once. There was no use delaying it any further. I put four words in straight away. World, chink, beast, bumpy. These all have unique letters, the perfect Quirtle start. Only six letters remain unguessed, most of which are incredibly rare, like Z, X, and J. I didn't want to win too quickly, or he would suspect I'm already good, so I slowly filled out the answers, but didn't finish. I kept checking how far he had progressed, and when enough time had passed, I did it. Alright, I'm gonna go for it. Please be right. I did it. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't know what a robot or arbor is, but... Uh, round two complete. My next opponent, something like that. A genius skyblock strategist, literally revolutionizing methods of doing things video after video. Then they get patched in a day, but it's still impressive. A mind like his could solve world hunger, but instead he makes Minecraft videos. How truly lucky we are. I was preparing to face him, but there was a problem. With a tournament this open, this free to choose your own competition, people got lazy. It had been a whole month and only two rounds were complete. I was begging people to actually play their games, but people didn't listen. After after weeks of attempting people to play, Ari had to leave for a holiday back into the jungles where he belongs. So Ari decided to end the tournament. No winner, no billion coins. I remembered back to my opponents, my teacher, Shania the Cow. How could I disappoint them all? I can't. I won't give up. I can win. I feel great. I can do this. Dina, not at this time, please. That's what we call popping. Wait, say that again. Uh, that's what we call popping. Of course, it was obvious. Popping. Ari the monkey is a monkey. Balloons go pop. I have to play Balloons Tower Defense, a game about monkeys popping balloons. To pay for Shania's new pen, I must confront Ari the monkey. He is hiding somewhere in the jungle. If I beat BTD6, you have to give me the billion coins. Deal. The first step to win this game is to not activate windows. That's very important. Next, we can hide in the water so the balloons can't reach us. After the first couple of rounds, we are facing blue balloons which are really red balloons hiding in a layer of blue. You can think of the layers as layers of insecurity and mental illness. Red balloons represent feeling insecure about your big nose. The blue layer is the anxiety that comes with meeting new people and thinking about your nose. Now I can upgrade my boat monkey to shoot even faster. Green balloons represent when you notice your anxiety and get anxious about your anxiety. I've bought both upgrades, which closes off the middle upgrade. Uh, that was the most important one. I have made a mistake. Yellow balloons are when you accept you're an anxious person and start hiding away from other people. I choose the druid 
good hero to help me on this level. Ari seems like the kind of monkey to spend weeks sleeping and pretending he's meditating, so this guy might know him. Pink balloons represent that lack of connection turning to depression. Oh, actually, they're called balloons, not balloons. Just a small mistake. A mistake like thinking you have horrible mental health issues when it's really all from a single small issue that was never properly resolved. And now, it's time to make a choice. Do we buy more powerful towers to murder balloons? Or do we invest in our future by buying a banana farm? Generating income for the rest of the game. The ancient philosopher Hamza once said, Never disappoint your future self. Commit to delayed gratification. We invest in our future by working on a farm today. It costs $1,350, but it gives back 80 each turn. It'll take 17 turns and then free money forever. Heart-shaped balloons represent taking antidepressants and your feelings change shape, but the problem is still inside. Time to face the hardest balloon so far, the Moab. Holding multiple stacks of balloons. This represents finding new friends that also have these problems within their mind, and instead of helping each other, you bond over your problems, making them your identity, being proud of them, solidifying that you'll never give them up. Oh, I leveled up! One monkey knowledge point. I have learned that monkeys beat humans to space. Seriously. The levels got more and more intense. I could feel Ari sweating in fear. I planted more farms, preparing for my glorious future. It's time to fight the BFB, a group of Moabs. But when your friend group isn't enough, you need a movement of people to fit in with. Your problems are the main focus of your life. Everything else seems irrelevant. It's finally time for the sun god. Who will win? A golden monkey god or the ultimate group of people plagued with mental disease? By the way, no one gives a fuck about how your nose looks. They never gave it any thought and you don't have to either. I win! Ari, give me my money! No, beat the game with only one monkey. What do you mean? How is placed 19? Oh, if I was truly good at the game, that number would be one. And I will achieve that in the next video.